So my name is Richard Lunt, and I'm a professor of chemical engineering and material science here at MSU. The technology is uh, based on a luminescent solar concentrator. And this idea has been around since the 1970s. And the idea behind it is actually to make solar cells uh, more cost effective. And there's enough solar energy to actually power the whole world. Uh, but we don't do it, and we don't do it because it costs too much. So the idea behind a luminescent solar concentrator is that we're going to take a cheap piece of plastic and we're going to embed a luminescent dye into it. And that luminescent dye is going to absorb some fraction of the solar spectrum. And so the luminescent dye then glows that light and it gets trapped so it gets redirected around the edge, just like a fiber optic. And we then mount the expensive solar cell as just little strips around the edge. And so these are colorful, they're bright, they're kind of funky. Uh, but nobody really wants to sit behind one of these. And so what we've done is we've developed a uh, technology where we can actually make a luminescent solar concentrator transparent. And so this is a transparent luminescent solar concentrator. And this is going to harvest the parts of the spectrum that we can't see with our eye, namely the ultraviolet and the near-infrared parts of the solar spectrum. It's then going to glow at another wavelength in the infrared. And so it, it, it's ex exceptionally transparent and clear. And you can think about integrating this into a lot of different areas. You can integrate this into windows, into mobile electronics in the display, uh, or even automobiles or greenhouses. Um, and so you, once you realize that you can make this kind of technology, it really sparks the imagination. Uh, so this is something that we're very excited about and we see a lot of potential applications for. The, the future is difficult to predict, but solar energy will be a part of it. And we see this as being one of the key um, tools that can be used in a, a green engineer's toolbox to solve some of these problems. Uh, so this is something that's very exciting. I think the materials that we're working on and developing and really beginning to understand, we'll start to see them come out in a variety of applications. And so we'll start to see these come out in light emitting diodes and um, uh, transistors and electronics. And there'll be a lot of uh, really cool applications that uh, we're, we're starting to look at and explore. So I think the future is very bright for not only solar, but for these new kinds of materials as well.